Hello there everyone, so this is the Holy City Challenge. This was proposed by Hephaestion, uh, or Mr. Half, and uh, I'm very glad, I'm very glad that he did this because it's going to be an interesting challenge. This is up with uh, 16 other YouTubers, or well, 15 other than, than me, and it's divided among four teams. There's a couple of rules here and there, but I'll just link the video uh, be down below for those rules. Basically, it works as follows. On the Crusades, you gotta play with Egypt and capture Jerusalem. Or very hard, very hard. Now I have already uh, tried it out a little bit just to make have a feel of what I can do, and I have a pretty good strategy. On this case, we're gonna do exactly like Saladin and swarm with cavalry. So let's go with this. Let me see, let me see. Now I'm gonna send all this cavalry and it's just basically we have so much stuff that I'm gonna send all the cavalry over. The objective is to capture of course Jerusalem there so let me just move only the cavalry units these guys as well. Only the cavalry units everywhere into that city. That's the whole purpose. Okay, these guys except these guys. I'm gonna go for them. Everyone here except this. Good. So that's the purpose. That's the idea. We're gonna send... I don't know if this cavalry can arrive there, but I'll certainly just move everything. There's my spy. Let's move him here. There's my assassin. He's gonna spot for me. And there's this dude. Now there's an extra development, guys, that you haven't heard of. And you're gonna see, it's because there is a certain jihad that's gonna appear. Let me just send these guys into the ship. No, all the other units. I guess that's a good idea. No, I'm gonna send the infantry somewhere else. There's another city here I might be able to just to conquer it with a couple of uh, dudes. That's a Turk diplomat. Egyptian merchant. That seems cool. Now let's make sure that we don't get any troubles here. Nice. Let's just recruit units to make sure that we don't get any surprises like some rebellions or anything. Or even just a small number of rebels. Right, so everything is getting protected. Uh, this city doesn't need anything, honestly. And I'm not even going to build. Why? Because the challenge also includes that you have to, you, you need money. And I'm counting on capturing this city really fast. Like, really fast. Fast as possible. <laughs> so let's end up the turn and see what I can do. Really don't like this guy, so I'm going to decline that. There's the Jihad. So this is what you can actually do. You can actually go and besiege right now. And that's what I'm going to try. We're going to try to besiege it right away. Let's go besiege it right away. Why? Because this army shows up. And you can see that it's barely in range. But I can do this. Yes! Yes, I thought so. I thought so. <laughs> okay, that should be enough to deal with them. Uh, this guy, I think there's a city here. So I'm gonna try for it. Okay, no, I cannot reach there. And I think these guys can reach this city almost. Right, so even if I fail there, I'll be able to send these guys in. Okay, let's send this guy. You're gonna have some units. Good. Do you need any more units? No, you don't. Okay, let's send out to a Scallon there. Let's go here. Keep moving, just in case, guys. Just in case. Right, let's send the ships. That's a nice army. Right, these guys are gonna go over there. Let's join up here. That's it, it's two turns until they are joined up. And nothing else that I can do. Let's hope that they actually strike me. Let's go for that. And there we go. We're gonna have to fight this one. And we're gonna have to win against King Baldwin with all of that. A lot of squires who are good against... They're not good against cavalry. These guys are. 
the Templar sergeants, which are four, so I'll have to be careful with those, and of course the Knights of Jerusalem. Even though the Knights of Jerusalem, you know, they're quite comparable to my Ghulams. So, yeah. Frankish Hexmen, they're good against, effective against armor. There's only one archer, so that's a good thing. I'll have to use my, uh, uh, my archer units much more effectively, but maybe I can win this really fast. <laughs> Let's see how, how, how we can do this one. Let's see how we can do this one. That's what, turn two. <laughs> Alright, bodyguard, let's just go here. Let's deploy the skirmishers over here in the middle. Let's go, run. He's selling out, so I don't have too much time. Let's go, run. Actually, let's run here. Let's go here, run over there. Cavalry! Let's go here. That's it. Run. And the general, let's go here. Run. Oh, the bad thing is that we deploy so far away. That's the bad thing. Let's go faster a little bit. That's a lot of troops. The good thing is that he's going to be a little bit under... badly deployed, let's say. I don't want any more times to... Alright, so where is the bodyguard? Bodyguard feels like it's here. Or here. Where is it? Cannot identify it. Where's the bodyguard? I think it's this one. Don't know. So those are the archers, those are the heavy cavalry. Let's just make sure that my archers or my skirmishers can do something. Let's go for this. So these gentlemen will move here. These guys will move here. And the general is just going to move here. Good. So my archer is already firing a little bit. Knights, knights. Where's the general? There it is. Knights. There we go. Let's run them back. My Bedouins will hit this, but I think I'll actually hit the General's Bodyguard. The whole objective of this is to hit the General's Bodyguard. Honestly, that's what I need. I'm gonna send these two cavalry units there. They're gonna surround them. Gulams, you're gonna charge the Bodyguard. No, actually, let's do like this. Let's send all the units over there. Let's send all these golems here. Let's send them there. Let's go. Oh, the general's bodyguard is there. Let's send them here. Golems. Right, those are some squires. Let's move these guys away. Golems, let's push forward. I think you can do this. Oh boy, we're having some troubles. But certainly that general's bodyguard. I'm gonna have to push forward with this. Let's push it through. Good. So far the knights here are suffering and so are these knights suffering. Come on dudes, let's hit him. Where are these dudes? Hi there, Abra Cavalry. Let's strike down here. Those actually, you know, made him so that he would have to retreat there. I think I can get him because the general is almost dead. Think I can do this, guys. Okay, this Arab cavalry is gonna have to go over there. Gulams, let's push through. Let's go, let's move here. General's bodyguard, come on, charge it. Come on! How's that? Good. Awesome! We got him! We got him! Suddenly they're going to retreat. Ha 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 These guys are ready for... They're already fleeing. So this is what I'm gonna do. If I manage to kill that, then let's just retreat. There's no point. Now my archers can actually do the rest. That's it. Let's actually position him here. 
And these guys, let's just position them here. Let's go. Good. King Baldwin is dead. Foolish, dude. Now, archers can do the whole damage. They're hitting these squires. Perfectly, actually. Now, javelins will do the damage. They're routing away, that's it. They're probably going to start routing away. These are some archers. I think I'm going to send one unit of Arab cavalry against them. Actually, let's do like this. Let's go. These guys, let's go over there. Let's go over there. Desert Cavalry will hang on. They're probably going to retreat as soon as they feel themselves trapped. Let's charge them. Charge them and charge them. Charge these guys. Charge over there. And charge over there. That's it. So those Frankish are wavering, these are wavering, these guys will be charged upon. Bodyguard charge those Templars. Yeah, according to my plans, we will win. <laughs> That's it. There we go, all of them are fleeing. Nice. This guy isn't fleeing? Oh, everyone is. Good. So let's just stop you guys and go over there. Made of clay. We are winning the battle. <laughs> These three, come on, capture all of that. That's it. There's actually some Knights of Jerusalem there. Mamluk Otters! Let's kill these Templars, come on! Time six! Come on, kill them all! Okay, if you can't, let's just move here, back. They will come back, don't worry. Let's move over here, these guys, let's move over here. Let's continue the battle. I need to completely eliminate his forces. Let's go. He's gonna arrive there in the middle and he's gonna come back. That's it. As soon as he rallies, you know. As soon as he rallies. These guys, let's auto fire. Let's go. Okay, we already won the battle. It's all about conquering this city. And I think I have just the weapons for it. Come on. Okay, archers will start firing on this guy and gonna kill it. There we go. One volley was enough. Now we come with the other. These are some Sodia archers. I don't want any enemies surviving the battle. Now let's go. One volley should be enough. Or two or three. There we go, 23, 21. Okay, another volley will almost finish them out. That's 15, 13. Let's go with that. Alright, time six. We can we can do this. <laughs> it worked, guys! It worked! Because I'm gonna capture the city! <laughs> what what is this? Turn two? Actually it's turn three. It's the second turn of you know, the Jerusalem forces. Now let me move these guys a little bit back. That's it, and these guys maybe here, just to make sure that we can, you know, eliminate the whole force. Let's go. Come on, here they come. That way they will have to, you know, fall back a little bit. That's it. At least they won't be running already. Come on, archers. Get close. And those Frankish axemen. That's it. Okay, they're firing missiles, so am I. So they're gonna die. Four, three. Let me go move faster. They will be able to fire in between. Come on, just move here. 
Go over there. Can you cross that? Can you guys go there? No, you can't. Oh boy, it's obstructed. Well, they'll be able to kill these guys. And where's the other ones? There's the Templar Sergeants. Okay. Let's get back here. I'm six. Come on. As soon as he opens, I'm actually going to go through the gate. Come on. There we go. There we go. Let's send them through the gates. There we go. Send all everyone in. I know there's going to be some issues here, but still. Good. There we go. I could have sent them, you know, first, but still. They would cause a couple of casualties. Don't want to force anything. There we go. Can't even hit them. That's it. Let's hit these dudes. Everyone actually enters. Did we kill them? The we killed the last one. They were born. Let all the Good! This most wondrous triumph. So, casualties inflicted a lot of them. 60 apiece. 70 apiece. It was nice. It was really nice. Bodyguard, Memlock Arches, I got a lot of stuff. That's nice. Continue, and I think we got it. I think we got it. <laughs> uh, execute them all, and... Okay, let's get the most money out of this. Sack the settlement. And I got it! Today, the followers of the Prophet <laughs> Muhammad rejoice, for Muslim armies have captured the holy city of Jerusalem. So that's three turns, guys. I think that's interesting enough. Now, of course, I'm going to get a lot of money because I'm going to, you know, rip everything apart. Let's close this scroll. No, I don't want this dude. Alright, so, does this end after I capture Jerusalem or do I still have another turn? Because if I still have another turn, I'll be able to do a lot more damage. You know, if this ends already, it doesn't matter. However, Let's see if it ended, then it's three turns, 33k in gold. Uh, if it doesn't, well, then just let's do this. Apologies, it's going to be a long destruction. Just want to get the whole money. Yeah, I know, it's cheaper tactic, but still. I just want to show you how much you can actually get. Oh, that's a lot of money there. Good. I hope this doesn't crash or anything. And that's it. Oof. Finally. Everything is fine now. Okay, I would do something like this. I would probably strike here and try to capture this Jerusalem castle. I don't know if I have enough to do so. Uh, over here on a Ascalon... I would be able, but honestly, if I were to be, you know, if I were to rush this, I wouldn't strike it uh, right away. Um, one thing that I could have done differently would be, you know, instead of this army being here, this guy would strike me and I would be able to kill it. Oh, that was a little bit bad. But still, you know, there's no way I can capture any city because I would have to, you know, end up the, the turn uh, to do so. Uh, I might be able to strike this one and capture a Scallon right there. Do I have any infantry? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. I do have infantry. But I don't think if I... Well, I could do that. Yes, noble master. No, I could do that. 
I could capture this this Ascalon city, and still, you know, considering the idea that uh, the turn hasn't ended, so I still have uh, something to do. Right, that would be nice. Oh, hang on a second. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I guess I I have enough. I have enough to do so. I have enough to do so. Now, um I think I'm gonna split the, the challenge or should I keep going? I think I'm gonna keep going. Let's assault it then. Let's assault this one then. I have a lot of infantry, small infantry, some desert archers, some cavalry. These dismounted golems will do the most the, most of the trick. So let's assault it. So maybe I can get even an extra place here. Captain Edward. Oh, I should have moved myself, and that was so silly. That was so silly. Okay, it's a captain. It's just a small modern bailey. Let's fight it out on the battle map. Right, I don't know if this is on the, the victory conditions or not, but whatever the conditions... Uh, oh, it's it's right there, <laughs> written, whatever the conditions. But whatever the conditions, uh, if it's only at the end of turn that it's calculated, then it's much better for me. Uh, if it's not, well, then I capture the city in three turns, nevertheless. <laughs> okay, let's move my archers into move into place. Actually, they will just move over here and start firing. That's it. Now I have these two Bedouin cavalrys, or desert cavalry, let's say, and the rest of the infantry is gonna go through in the middle. These guys will just go here. Start the battle, let's go over there. Archers, let's just move you here. Let's go here. Let's go. As it cavalry, let's move here. Thank you. Ram, let's move here. They only have a captain, so I might be able to do a lot of damage. Let me show you the damage that these guys can do with those chevrons. They do a lot of damage. As it cavalry are really cool. Consider using them effectively, you know. Look at this, one unit of the squires is almost dead just due to that. Those of my archers, I don't know where they're firing, but oh, they're hitting the mounted sergeants, perfect. They're hitting the middle. So if they can actually hit the middle, that's perfect for me. These guys, let's just go here. Let's go here. Archers can always, you know, hit a lot of targets, so... They have already lost 20% of their men just due to that. All that I need is my ram to run through. Oh, they are selling out. That's even better. Right. Let's go for it. Yeah, let's go for it. Drop the ram and just strike it down. Now these squires are dying a lot, and my archers are doing most of the damage actually. There we go, we're killing these dudes. Let's group them up and start killing these squires. That's it, dismounted golems are so cool. They're basic, basic swordsmen let's say, perfect for this job. So I guess I did well on sending that army there. Hmm, interesting. I don't know if I should have could have conquered an extra city due to this. Maybe, but certainly not after um not after Jerusalem, you know, not before Jerusalem Jerusalem, I mean. Aren't they retreating? No, they are not. Okay, so this is what I'm gonna do. Yeah, the battering ram is actually hindering us from moving. But still, I believe they will be able to move through. That's it, come on. Okay, now they're running away, so we can. We have taken the walls. It is time we captured this place. Good. Right, let's strike down. I think these units will just do the trick. Archers are doing a lot of damage. Yes, they are. 
Actually, let's just move them here. Let me just move them here. That's it. Okay, half of their men, so probably I'll win this. These are even Knights of Jerusalem. Uh, they won't do well against this uh, type of force. No, not against heavy infantry. It's exactly the type of unit that I want to face them. You know, my archers are still doing a lot of damage. Probably do a lot of damage to those archers as well. Let me just hit the archers because they are the weakest uh, targets, let's say. Okay, archers, let's hit those archers. Archers, let's actually hit those archers as well. You know, I certainly want these to finish up. And my... My forces, come on, let's move here. That's it. These guys, let's group them up. These guys, let's fight the knights there. These will move into the middle. Let's go strike them down. Strike these down. I still have plenty of forces, so yeah. Those are routing away. Archers will stop their fire and will resume their fire again. And the only thing that he has are a couple of Templar sergeants. I've not even lost 7%. <laughs> Nice. General is dead. Captain Edward, poor boy. And we're winning over here. <laughs> now I see why this, the Crusader states have such a difficult time against, you know, Saladin forces. These guys, let's move over there. We're in times two. You're actually going to go here. Come on. Stop it! Just hit whoever you have in line. Let's go through. Come on. Hit them all. And let's go. Time six. Okay, there's another conquest. That's another conquest. Now, of course, the army from Saladin will clear, would clear up the uh, armies from the Kingdom of Jerusalem. So that would be interesting. We would be on our ways to a great victory, let's say. But since I managed to kill and capture this place, then perfect. We're doing fine. <laughs> Just to show you kind of what's up. Let me go in time six and we got it, right? Good. Like sweet nectar. Good, 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 good. So that's another city that makes an extra settlement for me. And I captured Jerusalem in three turns and I have, I don't know how many K in gold. Let's see how much. Allah be praised for granting us victory. Allah be praised. These lands are ours. Sack the settlement and destroy this. Good. That would be it for today, guys. Um, thank you for uh, to Efation for this uh, challenge. Let me show you. This actually eases up him, his ideas. So the year is 1,178, uh, and I have uh, how many regions in this case? I have eight regions. I have 54k gold, and. Uh, the uh, Jerusalem, of course, is taken. So, objective completed. Uh, yeah, that will be all, guys. Thank you, guys, for watching. And thank you, guys, uh, uh, once more, thank you to Efficient for the uh, opportunity. Uh, I hope you guys have enjoyed this little rush to uh, the Holy City. And, yeah, cheers, guys. See ya. Oh, don't forget to leave a like. <laughs>